Introduction Hey Tina, look, the rain has stopped. Come, let's go outside. Hmm, the weather is so pleasant. Yeah, I love the fragrance of soil after the first rain. Yeah, the fragrance of wet soil is always very refreshing. Tina, look, the earthworm is creeping over the soil. Yeah, these earthworms come out of the soil after the rain. You mean to say that these earthworms live in soil? Yes, Simran, soil is a home for many living organisms. It has many nutrients also. It also has the capacity to hold air and water. Wow, that's so interesting. I want to know more about it. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Define soil Explain the formation of soil Describe soil profile Discuss types of soil Understand soil erosion Learn different properties of soil What is soil? Soil is the uppermost layer of the earth's surface which supports life and it is found everywhere. But have you ever thought why soil is so important? Well, soil is needed for the growth of plants. It binds the roots of plants tightly and supply water and other nutrients to the plant. Without soil, we cannot obtain food. Moreover, many living organisms live in it. So we can say that soil is very essential part of our life. Soil formation. Can you tell how does the soil form? Well, soil was formed over a very long period of time. Large rocks were broken down into smaller pieces and finally to soil by the action of wind, water and climate in a process called weathering. Also, decaying of dead plants and remains of animals made the soil thick and rich and eventually it became support for life. Soil Composition Soil is a mixture of water, air, parent material and organic matter. Over time, these four components combine together to form healthy, fertile soil. Don't think that soil composition is same at every place. It depends on the rock from which it has been formed and the type of vegetation that grows on it. Soil Profile Soil is made up of different layers called horizons. Each horizon has its own characteristics. A soil basically has five horizons, namely O, A, B, C and bedrock. The first layer is called the O horizon. This layer contains dead organic matter that lies on the surface. This mostly consists of fallen leaves and decaying animals. Second layer is the A horizon. This is commonly known as topsoil. This layer has high concentration of organic material called humus. Many living organisms live in the topsoil. Third layer is the B horizon. It is commonly known as subsoil. This layer contains more minerals but less humus. Fourth layer is the sea horizon. This layer is rocky and made up of weathered rocks. Nutrients concentration is low in this layer. The final layer is made of solid rocks and commonly known as bedrock. Types of soil. There are basically three types of soil. Sandy, clay and loamy. Let's take three samples of a soil and examine them one by one. We can see the first sample contains greater portion of bigger particles. So, this is a sandy soil. Its water holding capacity is low. Therefore, very few plants grow in it. Let's observe second sample closely. It contains relatively higher proportion of the fine particles. So, it is a clay soil. It is very sticky and has no spaces between the particles to hold air. Therefore, plants cannot grow properly in it. Now let's observe third sample closely. It contains equal proportion of both bigger and fine particles, so it is a loamy soil. Among all the three soils, loamy soil has humus in it, which makes it fertile. Also, it can hold both water and air. Therefore, plants grow very well in loamy soil. Soil Erosion 
Can you explain what is soil erosion? Well, soil erosion is a process of removal of the top layer of the soil. But what causes soil erosion? Basically, it is caused by the action of wind, water and ice. These are the agents of soil erosion. Apart from natural agents, human activities like cutting down the trees also causes soil erosion. But how? Plant roots bind the soil in place and prevent it from being washed away. So, if there will be no trees, floods will occur which will leach the soil nutrients and eventually the land will become barren which cannot be used for vegetation. Therefore, more trees should be planted in order to prevent soil erosion. Self-assessment. Let us check what have you learned so far. Drag and drop the correct option into its respective place. Properties of soil. Soil has the property to absorb water. This is called percolation of water by soil. Can we measure the percolation rate of water in different soils? Yes, rate of percolation can be easily calculated by using the following formula. Suppose that for a certain soil sample, it took 10 minutes for 100 milliliter to percolate. Then, rate of percolation will be equal to 10 ml per minute. Rate of percolation is different for different soils. Sandy soil can absorb more water than clay and loamy soil. Soil and crops. Soil profile is affected by wind, rainfall, temperature, light and humidity. These factors determine the type of vegetation grown in that region. India is a vast country. Different types of soils are found here. Let's see type of vegetation grown on these soils. Clay and loamy soils are good at retaining water, so they are suitable for growing wheat, gram and paddy. Cotton is grown in sandy loam soil, which can drain water easily and can hold plenty of air. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Soil is a mixture of four main components, water, air, parent material and organic matter. Soil is made up of different layers called horizons, namely O, A, B, C and bedrock. Topsoil is the most fertile layer of the soil. There are different types of soil, namely sandy, clay and loamy. Soil erosion is a process of removal of the top layer of the soil. Percolation rate of water is highest in the sandy soil and least in the clay soil. Wheat, paddy and gram are best grown in clay and loam soil. Cotton is grown in sandy loam soil.